two, three, two. Planet of the Lizard Women. Yay! And of course, continue to raise money for zombies from hell. Ooh. Howard. GT, Billy Call. Now he's on his way over here with his pick for the Lizard Woman, but he needs your approval. And you have an 11 o'clock with Jordan Willis. Right, right. Who? A uh, Jordan Willis. He's the record producer who's interested in investing in zombies from hell. Oh, good, good. Now the bank called all morning. Uh, something wrong with your balance. <laughs> and Susan called. She needs the gold card. She's going to drop by at noon to pick it up. GT. Line one, somebody from William Morris. Now, GT, we have some itinerary changes. The four o'clock's been changed to five o'clock, the five o'clock's been changed to 6.30, and the seven o'clock I canceled completely because I just didn't think you want to waste any more time with Jack and Warren if you get my meaning. You read my mind, CJ, thank you. <laughs> I'll be at my desk if you need me. Okay. GT here. Herb, how you doing? Listen, I know she's a good actress, Herb, but she's a TV name, I need a film star. Because she has to fall in love with a zombie and make it believable. Okay, call me back if you get any ideas. Well, you, you look. JT yeah, will sue you. We're going to take you for everything you have. Why? Because you signed a contract. You English sissy. Let me tell you what the password is here. The password is garnish. Garnish and attachment. That's right. JT, Clyde Smegmonton wants to pull out because he can't sell his London property. Well, let me talk to the man. Yeah. Clyde, Clyde, darling. JT here. Yes, yes, I know you don't like zombie pics. Neither do I, but they always make a ton of money. I cannot sell the London oh, property. I understand about the London property, but if we can find you a buyer, will you still invest? Yes. Good. Close the deal. Are you happy now? Do you hear the man? Take a look at these. I just rewrote that scene ten times. You know, Lou, I've been thinking about this. I think this scene slows down the whole story. Let's just lose them completely. Right. And Amalgamated has fallen like a rock. What do you want to do? Robbie, Amalgamated's fallen like a rock. What should I do? When reality becomes unreasonable, one must look at other possibilities in order to see the underlying truth. But what about Amalgamated? Oh, by the way, you naughty boy. The check you gave me bounced. Sell! 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 Sell it all! CJ, get Greta over here. I don't know why my checks are bouncing. I've got lots of cash. Right away, GT. Warner Brothers line two. Jackie, how are you? I'm not interested. What do you mean you're not interested? There's never been a zombie love not story believable. before. Not believable. Jackie, that's what actors are for. I'm not interested. Well, if I told you I just signed Meryl Streep, would you be interested? Hello? Hello? Oh, well. GT, our search is over. I found the perfect one, buddy. Billy, we need a woman. It's Planet of the Lizard Women. I am a woman. <laughs> She's perfect! You're incredible! My God, Billy, you're a genius. Ooh, look at these biceps. Stella, why don't you show GT some of your swordsmanship? Ooh, swordspersonship! <laughs> PC! You think it was something I said? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah. I could use a glass of water, though. Right away, GT. So, what do you think? Does she get the part? Sure, if she'll work for deferred payment. Great. You won't be sorry. 
Stella, my darling, good news. You got the part. But there's no money involved. That's cold blooded. Your 11 o'clock should be here any minute, GT. Oh, what's his name? Oh, Jordan Willis, president of Star Space Records. Oh, thank you, CJ. You're a lifesaver. Oh, by the way, before I forget, would you send a copy of uh, Zombies from Hell over to Sean Young? Right. You never know. Right. Howard, we've got to find a name actress for our movie, otherwise we're never going to get distribution. I'm working on it, GT, but it's not easy. Most stars don't want to do a love scene with a slimy zombie. Welcome, come in, come in, sit down. Good to see you. Sit down, sit thank, down. Thank you. Uh, would you like anything to drink? A cup of coffee would be nice. Great. Uh, CJ, bring us two cups of coffee, please. Uh, cream or sugar? Uh, no, thank you. I like my coffee black. You make it black. So, let's cut to the chase. Why would a man in your position want to invest in a zombie film? Well, plain and simple language, big, big profits. Well, I like profits. How much profit? Well, that all depends on how much you invest. I see. Well, what's the movie about? CJ, have Dan bring in the posters on the zombie pick. This zombie film's a little different. You know how in a lot of zombie films, there's a bunch of zombies running around graveyards killing people? Yeah. Well, not in this one. In this one, there's only one, and he's a loner. He's a likable zombie. He gets in a little trouble. He's being chased by the police. He meets a girl, falls in love. She falls in love. They try to run away together. But then bad things happen at the end. You want to see these, GT? Yes, Dan. Now, take a look at this poster. If you saw this poster on the street, wouldn't you pay five bucks to see what it was all about? Honestly? I mean, you know, if you were a kid. Well, when I was a kid, I didn't have five dollars to spend on no movie. You know, I didn't either. But, boy, I'm telling you, these kids today, they got a lot of money. What kids are you talking about? Oh, I don't know. Good old American kids. Our kids. Your kids. Well, first of all, I wouldn't let my kids see this movie. You know, I wouldn't let my kids see it either. I mean, I don't have kids, but if I did have kids, this is not the kind of movie I'd want them to go see. Which is exactly why the theaters will be packed. Kids always go see the movies their parents don't want them to see. Heck, the more the parents say no, the more the kids want to go. Well, look at this poster with a knife all in the girl's neck. Uh, what kind of poster is that? Dan, what about it? I'll just redo the whole thing. <laughs> it's not about art. It's about money. You invest one, you get back two. If you invest five, you get back ten. I could do five for the hell of it. Well, five would be great. With five, I could make a heck of a zombie pick. <laughs> CJ, tell Howard to drop a contract for $500,000. What's this? That's five. You're not Jordan Willis, record producer? <laughs> no, I'm Gerald Williams, the new custodian. Gordon Willis? Yeah. Gordon Towers. Come in, come right. in. Good to see you. Would you like anything to drink? Yeah, some uh, coffee would be good. CJ, two coffees. Jordan, we need to talk. Believe me, Jordan, people are always looking for a good zombie movie to go to. Well, if you say so, I don't know much about the movie business, but if you're talking about an equity participation deal with 50% return, I would consider putting two into it. 200,000? <laughs> no, actually, I was talking about two million. <laughs> what? That would be fantastic. Excuse me, Jordan, it's been one of those days. Howard, could you uh, step in here and drop a contract agreement for Mr. Willis? Jordan, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you. Gordon? Jordan? <laughs> Come with me, Mr. Uh, Jordan. What's your name? Howard Feinberg. Gordon. Jordan. Hi. Hi. 
Susan, sweetie, what are you doing here? I just came to give you a big kiss. Mm. <laughs> CJ, hold all calls. All right, GT. I'm sorry, Mr. Spielberg. Mr. Towers is not available right now. Can I take a minute? So, how's my best girl? Great. Um, I was on my way to go shopping, but I realized I don't have any money. Well, it's never stopped you before. <laughs> Very funny. But I really need some new clothes. Susan, you've got tons of clothes. What are you talking about? Well, so much weight that none of them fit anymore. Why are you whispering, Susan? That's something you should be shouting from the rooftops. Stop it. Honey, I really need some newer outfits. I mean, can I have a gold card? And he told me I could have it any time I wanted. Susan, do you really need some of your clothes? Yeah, I don't have anything to wear to our premiere. Well, how about if I give you some cash? I hate to carry cash. Besides, you know, the gold card is so much easier, and they treat me a lot nicer when I pull it out. Well, they don't treat me nicer. You do understand the way the gold card works, don't you, Susan? Yeah. You just say, put it on the gold card and sign the paper. And let old GT worry about the rest, huh? Well, it's a problem. No, it's no problem. It's just that I have to pay the full amount at the end of the month, or else they take the card back, and we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? No. I promise I'm only going to buy one little old outfit on sale. That's all. Okay, there you go. Okay, thanks, honey. Okay. Bye. I have love fun. You. Okay. Bye bye. Don't forget the full amount at the end of the month. Hi, Greta. Oh, hi. GT just gave me his gold card to go shopping. Well, buy out the stores, honey. He's got plenty of dough. Really? Mm-hmm. Great. Greta, just the person I wanted to see. Well, I'll bet. Can I get you anything, Greta? Oh, how about a one-way ticket to Honolulu? You got it, sweetheart, but first let's talk about my accounts. What about them? Well, Greta, all my checks keep bouncing. Well, that's because there's no cash in the company's account. And why is that, Greta? Because it's all in escrow. And what in the great wide world is it doing in escrow, Greta? Well, you tell me, Gordon. You're the one that told me to put it there. No, I did not, Greta. Yes, you did, Gordon. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, and I can prove it. Sit down, Greta. Greta, how am I supposed to pay my people if all my money is in escrow? You tell me. You're the boss. Okay, Greta, old girl. Drop the attitude and get the books. Let's get this straightened out. Don't you call me old girl. I'm the same age as you. You're right. I'm sorry. You are the same age as me. Who is that? That's his ex-wife. <laughs> <sighs> what happened? Very sorry, GT, but you slipped on my hurry naughty rocks. Well, what's my future? Oh, lower back thing. I gotta give you credit, Robbie. You're always right. Robbie, pick up those rocks before someone else gets hurt. Yes, Mom, uh, GT, are you okay? Oh, Liv, what's next, CJ? Uh, well, you haven't had lunch. No time. Howard, did you send that script over to Sean Young? It's with a now GT, but I think it's a long shot. Those are the best guys. <gasps> I almost forgot. Tony's on his way over here with a new actress he wants you to take a look at. Oh, God, as long as she doesn't have a sword. She won't need one, GT. I've found your star. Oh, really? What's her name? She's an unknown. Her name is Kiki. And I think she's brilliant. Kiki, step in here. I want you to meet Mr. Towers. Hello, CJ. Kiki! Hello, Mr. Towers. I'm Kiki Mars. Well, call me GT, Kiki. Okay, GT. Okay, if it's okay with you, GT, I'd like to do a scene. Why, sure, be my guest. Let's try a scene from the apartment, okay, Kiki? Okay, Tony. Except I'm not dressed for it. She's supposed to have an aerobics outfit on. That's okay, fake it. <laughs> oh. Well... Um, can I do it on the table? Sure, be my guest. Oh, my. Um, uh, can I hike up my dress? Any objections? No, 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 no,
no, no. Okay, ready, Kiki? Um, I think so. Oh, well, what the hell? Let's just go for it. I'll be playing the part of the zombie. Now, just to set the scene, she's on the floor exercising, aerobicizing. I'll come through the door. All right, ready, Kiki? And let's try it. And action! And a one, and a two, and a three. What was that? Oh my God, get out of my apartment. Oh, you're so gross. Get out of here, I'm working out. Oh, help! There's a zombie on me! Somebody help me! Oh, help, he's really choking me. want you! She's really a good one. Do I get the part? <laughs> or what? Well, I thought you wanted to go over the books, but evidently you're busy. Greta, it's not what it looks like. Well, what the hell is it then? It's just casting. Tony, here. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. Everybody else back to work. Have a little consideration in the workplace. I understand the casting process, but I do not think it's necessary for me to have to wade through a scene from Caligula to get to the copy machine. You're right. I'm sorry. Greta. Well, maybe I should just quit. Just forget the whole thing. No, 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 no. Come on, please, Greta. I need you. I am not appreciated. What are you talking about? Greta, you're the only one I can trust. Ooh. To do a count. You just give me one good reason why I should stay. I'll give you three. You make top dollar. You don't have to come in every day. And you always get your alimony check on top. Greta. All right, I'll think about it. OK. Here's the problem with your accounts. Oh, I see. Well, this goes over here. and. That money goes over there. Great. We got it all worked out. OK. I'll go call the bank. Thanks, Greta. And thank you for staying, Greta. Greta's staying, everybody. Thank you, Greta. We need you, Greta. We love you, Greta. Oh, come on, Greta. That was real applause. Bad news, GT. Billy the Wonder Boy hasn't started shooting yet. What? It's 4.30 in the afternoon. What is going on? Hello. Hello, yes, this is Gordon Towers. Is Billy there? Uh, just a second, please. It's GT for you. Tell him I'm not here. Uh, he's not here right now? What? How can he not be there? He's the director. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just the production assistant. <laughs> CJ, cancel the rest of the day. We've got to get over to the set and find out what the Sam Hill is going on. Howard, if Sean Young calls or comes by, tell her I'll be back. <laughs> Billy, it's 4.30 in the afternoon. Why haven't you started shooting? We've got to wrap this film up today. I've been waiting for the sun to be just right. Billy! We're in a studio! What? What do you mean, sun? There is no sun! You're in a studio! I knew that. I knew that. It's... I'm waiting for the right mood. The right feeling. Does the feeling of unemployment do anything for you? Okay, let's get started, people. Come on, let's get it moving here. Uh, lights, sound speed, uh, catering, transportation, uh, sound, uh, Quinn, darling, places, please. Uh, all those high-tech... Why do I keep using him? Because he's a genius? On, honey, no, that's right. not it. Action! If I could just get back to my ship, then I could get back home. No, no, Cut. no, 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 no. This is all wrong. No. Uh, Billy, 
Give me some help here, will you? What's my motivation? Quinn, your motivation is that you want to get back to your ship so you can just go home. No, Billy, that's my line. What is my motivation? My, my reference, my sense memory, my subtext. Subtext? You do know what subtext is, don't you? Subtext, sure. It's, uh, you have this fear, your fright. N no. No, that's not it. Uh, you, you, uh, you couldn't get over this thing from your childhood that just haunted... No, whoo, where did that come from? Okay, you're, you're, you, man, you have this ball of anger. You are so ang... No, no. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what, do you just want to pay your rent? That's it! That's it? You're a genius. Yes, I am a genius. <laughs> okay, everybody. Take two, and action! If I could just get back to my ship, then I could get home and pay my rent. Oh, God! Not another lizard woman! Take that, you beast! wasn't in the script. Billy, tell me that was a special effect. Tell me she didn't just cut off his arm. I wish I could, GT. I really wish I could. Okay, let's move in for a close-up while he's still conscious. Come on, people, we're losing plasma here. Ah! My arm! My arm! CJ, call the insurance company, make sure we're covered for something like this. Get my uh, lawyers out here. Dial 911, get a paramedic out here. And cut, beauty, that's a take, we got. Billy the Wonder Boy, you are finished, my friend. I mean finished. Well, Mr. Towers, I just, I just have to thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity to finally act. You'd be surprised how much trash I go out for this. This was art. <laughs> and you can bet at the Oscars I won't forget you. Almost finished, GT. Got about four shots to go. GT, the bottom fell out. The market closed at an all-time low. We've lost thousands. GT, the lab just called. They said they lost the negative to lizard women. GT. That guy Jordan Willis called. He hated the script and wants to pull out. Honey, look what I bought! Look at this, this is the greatest. GT, is this the kind of poster that you wanted? <sighs> oh, things are not always as they seem, GT. One must look beyond our own perceptions and view things for what they truly are. Well then, what is reality? Reality? He's just something else to complain about. Right again, Robbie Nod. Right again. Sean Young, come in, come in. Welcome. Did you read the script? I loved it. I really want to play this woman. She's so incredible. Oh, CJ, call Warner Brothers. Tell them we've got our name. Howard, draw up one of our standard star contracts. Right, GT. This is GT Inc. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be a TG production. Oh, don't be silly, Sean. You're in the right place. Are you doing Frontier Mama? A Western? Sean, you don't want to do a Western. What you need is a good love story. And have I got a picture for you. It's called Zombies from Hell, and it's a love story. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. We've got the Sign right here, Miss right Young. Here. I can't sign that. Oh, here, let me help you. <laughs> Sean Young. Sean Young. Sean Young. Thank you, Mr. Young. Welcome aboard, Sean. I see many, many people worshiping at the temple of your talent. Did you hear that? And Robbie's always right. Yes, yes. This is too weird. Lou, get the door. <laughs> Sean, please. I want you to consider this. Room. It's going to make you a bigger star than you even are now. <laughs> I know you're a big star. Don't get me wrong. I know yeah. you're a big star, but trust, trust him. 
Let me just trust him. I'll get back to you. No, no, trust him. Please, trust him. I want you to trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Does that mean you'll do it?